WIDE stands for Women in Development Europe. It began in 1985, so 20, over 20 years ago now. And originally it was uh, for women who were working in development in, the, in Europe to form a group, a solidarity group amongst themselves. What we had is, in, is that we would uh, have platforms. And so these were individuals who got together in their countries and formed a platform. And from that platform, they would then sit at, at the steering group. Very quickly, though, we had uh, support from the European Commission before the EU. And after a few years, we moved to Brussels. And then I think WIDE became a much stronger network. And there you have institutional members. WIDE always had a political agenda. It wasn't that uh, we were doing projects in the South, but it was more we were trying to listen to women's groups in the South, not necessarily women in projects, but women's movements in the South, to understand what were the issues that we should be focusing on in Europe. So in actual fact, our advocacy and policy lobbying was formed on a conversation we had with women in the South, who said, for example, uh, you can't just, in, in those early days, think of women and culture as somehow uh, the only thing. And you need to also understand economic conditions, trade conditions. I think that WIDE has produced some very good, uh, solid analysis on trade and development. It certainly has worked with different groups. Um, the Battle of Seattle, which was uh, in 1999, uh, working to destabilize the World Bank and IMF. Uh, we, we've done a lot of work with other groups in solidarity across the world on issues around the debt. Um, and I think our main success has been that, is to bring the gender approach into trade and development. At the same time within Europe, I think we've also kept up a forum for women who are needing to think uh, about issues from international arena. I think the main challenge, of course, is, a, is, is the neoliberal capitalist system in the sense that neoliberal um, dominance of free market, etc. I think that's the main challenge wide faces is how do you really deconstruct that and then make changes at a policy level. Um, a big challenge, of course, is funding for the sort of work we do. The idea that what you need is economic growth and that you need a delivery system from the rich north to the poor south. And some good points made in this conference that um, there's no money for development. There's money to save the banks, so there's obviously money for development. But I think the construction of development is what is wrong. And there are practices which have not worked. I mean, for example, the Millennium Development Goals is this blueprint of eight goals of 48 indicators, which the whole UN is coming behind and other governments and that sort of thinking, which is reductionist, which is sort of marketizing everything, for me, that's what's not working. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, in the last four years while I've been chair, I think White has very seriously taken up the fact that we do need to continue our work on trade and development and uh, gender. That's an important nexus and one that we've developed and need to continue developing, very critical. But we also have to add in there the whole issue of migration because that is something that is um, part of a globalized world and it's also something that is very related to uh, those core issues. Next year we'll be looking at the care economy as one of our uh, main concerns. I don't think you necessarily have to be all local and all global, but I think WIDE provides to some extent that sort of space in between because um, most of our work is not you know, at the European level. Mo many people work at, live and work in national levels, but why gives that kind of, you bring them to the European context, you hear what are the differences, and then again, from a European context, you bring it up to the international level. So there are those three levels. We need to have a transnational feminist analysis um, that is there, that we learn, that we are linked up in solidarity. But I think that needs to come also in a di dynamic way from our own local reality. you that uh, gender is uh, not working in the South and that uh, you don't have strong gender voices. I think that you do. Um, you've got a lot of feminists organizing and working in the South and leading many of the discussions. Uh, in Iran, I think some of the feminist filmmakers are inspiring all of us and 
work um, against stoning of women is, is very important. I would say that we have a very strong program. We worked on putting a program in place which is looking at trade development and uh, gender, looking at migrant migration and looking at alternatives. Um, and I would really hope that we continue to work on that. The good thing about WIDE is that we are um, contributing, taking different hats, moving on, and as I said, that's very important. So for me, it would be um, just to continue building on what WIDE is doing.